home. A little stuff in the pickup. And Dale, we're out of here. See you guys on the road. All right, here we go. I am just hitting the road. I'm gonna put you down, put you guys down for a while, and you're gonna see me when I pull up to Chad's house. I'll be on the interstate, so I'm definitely not gonna be on my phone. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. I am just getting close to the on-ramp. It's go time. Jump the burb, get her out of the way. It's a vehicle Chad used to pick up all the chicks in. That's right. <laughs> My high school prom date. <laughs> So the plan is, well, first of all, we're all unloaded. So the plan is that we're gonna take our packs and some other stuff down to the river. It's about 250 yards-ish down there. So instead of trying to pack it all in one trip, it's 250 yards and we'll be coming uphill um, with no weight. So we're not too worried about that. So we're gonna go ahead and hike this stuff down, drop it off, come back, get the raft. All right. 
Alrighty, here we go. I know I keep saying it, I said it last time, but check it out. This is it, folks. We're going. About to push off. I'll get back with you in a minute. I'll give you some water views. Shutting down for now. We're on, folks. We're just gonna, Kat's just back rowing us up. Better him than me. He's gonna back row us up there to that main channel. And down river we go. First brownie. What you got there, bud? Huh? Yeah, baby. You guys want to check that out? Oh. Here you go. Let's, let's get rid of this ridge top. Oh, man. First one. Little rag bowl. She is brown. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Tree branch? Yeah, I think so. Just trying to spot one up right now. Got a big sage hillside over here that we know they're on. There's so much sign through here, it's crazy. So I know they're here, we just gotta find some sheds. We picked up that one, but haven't found any others, so. We'll keep working and uh, Turn up some more. Just see if we can't glass one up before walking all the way over there. Got one. Little guy. Just a little guy. Put a shed. None. Two brownies for us. Neither are very big. This one's actually smaller than the last one, but on the board we got two. Got another one. Starts white little deer shed. Looks like. Little guy. Another little one. Tell you what, we're in the little ones though. That's where we came from. Now we are here. We're going to talk about some big country covered. So we came, see the rafts right there. We came up, over. Around and you can't see this backside. There's about four ridges we or mountains we walked around over here, came back down. Now we're gonna come right back down here. Chad's right up over here, glassing this other side right now. Just seeing if we can't turn something up. We'd have to get in the raft to get over there, but that's okay. That's what we're looking at. Pretty good. Brick out the flavored stuff. I saw that herb and herb garlic. and garlic. Yeah, I don't remember what the other one is. Smoked something. The regular stuff is pretty good too. I like it, but I, I love really flavor. Like huh? 
really like tuna. You don't? I do. Really. Oh, do. you do really like it? Yeah. yeah. I thought I had seen you eat it before. Oh, yeah. We were floating down the river just a second ago. Look up on the side of the ridge, and there's a deer shed. And it looks like a pretty good one to boot. The Shed Float Tour 2020 turning out to be good so far. Me up to the top up there, not to the top. That tree back there, he spotted this puppy from the rat. Woo! Chad just found another one from the water. That dude is rowing and finding sheds from the river. Mom Black. Hey Chad, tell us about that shed that you just ran up the mountain to get. No. I don't want to do that. <laughs> turns that out it was. Turns out it wasn't a shed. He Plus, went up. A, he took a little, pretty good little hike there. Yeah. Legs are burning. He said he needed the exercise. Yeah. And now, thinking back, I will get plenty this weekend. So. Don't think that's the case. Hindsight's 2020. 20. It always is. Especially when you get excited and you think you got one. Yeah, hey, find one shed from the boat and then you... Man, it's game over. Your mind plays tricks with you. You were confident on that one, I too. I was. I but was. That's a shed. Elk shed. Elk shed. Yep. Yep. I was. It's uh, raining now, so you guys are going to have to wait and get back with us after that stops. We're going to put the cameras away, so hopefully we'll catch you after not too long. I remember what I said about uh, raining? I lied. It's hail. We opted for shelter. It was getting real wet. It's, it's coming down like crazy right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is wild. Let me flip you around and see if you can see it. Flat out coming down. So. So we just hiked clear up here to the top. That's where we were, down there. We hiked up here and there just isn't as much country as we thought right up here. It looks okay, but it, I don't know, there's just not a lot of sign. So I think what our plan is, we're gonna go, we're gonna hop back in the raft and we're gonna go further down river. There's some other ridges we found on Onyx. This was one of them, but it wasn't quite, it wasn't the best one we found. So there's some other ones that we're gonna go down and here before it gets dark, see if we can find a camping spot. Whoa. Good thing I had the camera rolling when I did that. But anyways, see if we can find a little bit better camping spot. Our spot right now isn't super great, so we had just talked, we're not gonna probably, well we're not gonna camp in the same night, two nights, same spot two nights in a row. So we're just gonna maybe just go find a good camp spot and then get up in the morning and raft to where we need to be instead of trying to hike from camp. So we are going to head right down here to the raft. So you guys saw those cows I just showed you. They're back here behind me. So we came over here 
Tab made a comment, if the cows are on this side, we bet the bulls are on the other side. So, let me show you what we're glassing right now. And we got one spotted right... Good thing we came back here, dude. I know. I know this is all chewed off, but... Good head. Second. Nice little 4 by 3 Lion kill. That might be the other side down there. Could be. That other one looked maybe older. <sighs> Five point. There we are, folks. <clears throat> yeah, that is the biggest one. So far. Where? Oh, down the one we looked at? Yeah. So, so we crossed the river. Came up where we saw that shed, found it, that's that five point I just showed you. On the way up, Chad spotted another one down. We do, we're gonna get it on the way back down. So yeah, found two sheds on this mountainside. What a day. So we found those last two sheds and that was actually what was that? Would we say four and five? Yep. Of elk? Four and five of elk. We got some other deer sheds. So right and now, a and a dead head. Yep, we got a deer dead head. Um, it just got done with a little rain shower here. So that's why we're hunkered under our tent. I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyways, we're hunkered under here. It just quit raining. So we're uh, making some dinner having some mountain house and then we're gonna hit the sack we're tuckered out i think from that afternoon we put in some miles this afternoon i'll have to check and see what exactly my watch check, shows check but, grounds, but that's okay. we'll check that out so we're gonna close this out with our mountain houses and we're going to bed and we'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>